and that's what we're there for. We're there, we're there to make films that increase the beauty of the image or the way the image tells a story. It's all about detail. Downton's all about detail, so everything that I did it had to match that precision. The camera was the first port of call to try and give it as cinematic look as possible. What they've been very good at is producing very reliable systems. I don't worry about things going wrong with the, with the cameras because I've, I'd shot two feature films with the F65 and, and they were faultless. There were a few characteristics of the camera that obviously raised the level of Sony's digital imaging. The fact that Sony have completely redesigned the sensor from the ground up is a, quite a big step for them. They didn't just rehouse the sensor they already had, they changed the sensor. And one of the main aspects of that is having this dual ISO. So we tested it and we projected it on, a, on, on one of the largest DI screens in London. What was quite amazing about it is that it didn't add any grain or noise to the image. So what it does is it really allows you to jump up to a level where you can use much lower light levels without increasing the grain. I used the integrated ND filters. It was a big aspect of one of the reasons that I wanted to shoot on the camera. On the Sony Venice, they have the entire range, everything you could possibly ever need. And also those NDs are matched to the sensor, so it's so much better than using glass filters. I can just flick through them to get the desired depth of field that I want. And everything I do on a film is all about making the most of every minute that I have but it saved me hours. It's an absolute piece of genius. You just don't want your highlights to burn out because that's, that's a bit of a giveaway for digital. So that's always an issue. But the Sony had such a good dynamic range that I never felt there was ever a problem, even when I was grading. I just want very good contrast, a very good luminance range and very good dynamic range. The great thing about the Sony camera is that there aren't any surprises. There's, it didn't do anything I didn't want it to do. I had to control. I felt as though I needed to intercept a technical issue. There just wasn't any. There was nothing about that camera that I didn't like. It's always an ambition of mine to, to make a movie that a lot of people get to see when it's released, but also people still talk about it 10, 20 years later. I'm still striving for that.